want to look <coughs> at the Laplace transform of a derivative. So, remember, the derivative would be, well, the function itself would be f of x, a function of x. Now, the derivative would be f prime x. You remember the notation there. And that is the first derivative. Alright? Now, we want the Laplace transform of that first derivative. So, the Laplace transform of f prime x is equal to, and remember, it is the integral <coughs> from 0 to infinity. And by the way, um, let's use t. t is popularly used. And I consider it more practical because t is usually used to represent time. Alright? And many functions are functions of time. So you have your graph. This would be the t axis, the time axis. And this would be some f of x or y axis. Alright? So, or f of t, I should have said. y or f of t. Alright? Some function of t. It could be electrical current versus time. It could be velocity versus time. Distance versus time. Temperature versus time. Whatever it is versus time. Now, time, you cannot go backwards in time. One way you could remember this. You can't go backwards in time. So you have to start now. And you call that zero. And time doesn't end. So you go to infinity. The integral from zero to infinity. Of E to the negative S T. So remember, this is time. And S is a constant. And of course, you have the function f prime t. So, the function f prime t with respect to t. So, you remember that's the notation for the Laplace transform. Now, when you find the Laplace transform of f of t, not f prime t, no, f of t, you call it the name f of s all right that's what you call it f of s so here now <coughs> we have the integral from zero to infinity of e to the negative st f prime t dt we want to integrate that it looks like we're going to have to Integrate it by parts. Alright? <coughs> now, um, when you integrate by parts, you have to remember the formula for integrating by parts. It comes, as you know, from the um, product rule in differentiation. Alright? I have another video about that. So, it says the integral of say, u dv is equal to u v minus the integral of v du. Alright? So, Let's rewrite what we have here. So the Laplace transform of f prime t is equal to the integral from 0 to infinity of now. I want to assign the u and the v from now. Here. Whatever you have for u, later on you're going to have 
to differentiate it. Now, if we take this for you, when we differentiate this, what we would get if f double is f double prime t, and we don't want that. We want to move from f prime t to f of t. Alright? Making it less differentiation. So we're not going to use f prime t for you. Let us say that we're going to let u be equal to e to the negative st. Right? u is e to the negative st. That means the other one would be dv. So dv is equal to f prime of t. Right? We're going to make all of these things happen here. Now, if this is the case, when you differentiate u, what you're going to have happen is du is equal to, and you remember that you can use um, the chain rule here, differentiation by substitution. What you would get is negative s e to the negative st. All right? Now, whatever you have for v, for dv, you're going to have to integrate it to go from dv to v. As dv is the derivative of v, you want to remove the derivative, you integrate. Just like how you want to remove a square root, you square, and so on. Alright? So, here, you have dv as f prime t. That means v would be equal to f of t. You remove the derivative. Alright, so what we have here is the integral of u. Let me write it down further to make some space. What we have is the integral of u. It's from 0 to infinity. I'm not forget that. Integral of u. What is u? u is e to the negative st. dv is f prime of t is equal to u which is e to the negative st. <coughs> v which is f of t <coughs> minus the integral from 0 to infinity of v which is f of t du which is negative s e to the negative s t. So remember, let me put a multiplication sign here so that I remember that I'm actually <coughs> multiplying. And remember, this part, it goes from 0 to infinity as well. So, it's from 0 to infinity. Let's not forget that. Alright? So, that's what we have. Let's see if we can simplify this now. This integral is equal to, now, remember, e to the negative st means 1 over e to the positive st indices, alright? f of t and we're going here from 0 to infinity now, here we have a minus but this is a negative right? So we minus negative and this S 
here is a constant. So we can put it on the left outside of the integral sign. So it's S and then integral from 0 to infinity of f of t. Then we have e to the negative st. Oh, um, the dt should be here. I left that part out earlier. I don't need a bracket around it. dt. We're different integrating with respect to t. All right. So let's deal with over here now. You put in the boundaries of integration. What we have is 1 over e to the s times infinity f of infinity minus, then we have 1 over e to the s times 0 time f of 0 all right what happens here now minus negative that's a plus we have the s here s times the integral from 0 to infinity of f of t e to the negative st dt. Now let's see what happens on the left hand side here. This e 1 over e to the s infinity is really 1 over e to the infinity f of infinity. Now here 1 over e to the infinity, e to the infinity is an infinitely large number and 1 over a number that gets larger and larger will have an answer that gets closer and closer to 0 so the limit of this will be 0 alright so this will go to 0 multiplied by f of infinity now, remember, here, you choose the S so that when you play around with these two, when you multiply these two, the product here will tend to zero. So, all of this on the left will amount to zero. Zero times F of infinity is zero. Minus, what happens here now? S times 0 is 0, so it's 1 over e to the 0. Any time you raise a number to the power of 0, you get 1. So this amounts to 1 over 1. And what is 1 divided by 1? It's just 1. Multiply by f of 0. f of 0, whatever that is. Alright? Plus S integral from 0 to infinity. Let me just write everything in black now. f of t e to the negative st dt. Alright. Now, this is 0 minus 1 times f of 0 is just f of 0 plus s. But hold on. The integral from 0 to infinity of f of t e to the negative st dt is what it if you remember it is the laplace transform of f of t all right this is the laplace transform of f of t so you can say that this is the laplace transform of f of t Right. Let's write the positive part first. So 
S times the Laplace transform of f of t minus f of 0. Now, all of this, what was it again? This is the Laplace transform of f prime t. So we have the Laplace transform of f prime t is equal to all of that. Now, let's look at our table of Laplace transform. Um, I have a table of Laplace transform here. Just to confirm what's going on here. See if we can find the derivative somewhere here. This is properties of Laplace transform. Okay. D f of t by dt. That's the same thing as f prime t. S f of s minus f of 0. And they put a minus here. Right? First order differentiation. So, S f of s minus f of 0. S I mean, S, big F of S. Now, earlier, I pointed out that the Laplace transform of F of T is the same as big S of, big F of S. So, let's rewrite it that way to match what is in the table. The Laplace transform of F of T, you can write it as F of S, big F of S. So, this is f of s. Alright, so let's see if everything matches. The Laplace transform of the first derivative is s f of s, s f of s, minus f of 0, minus f of 0. Okay, so there we have it. That's the Laplace transform of the first derivative.